Hi, Shelley from Spin Cushions here. Today I'm going to show you how to make these super cute, really easy hanging stars. Great for Christmas time. I use them a lot to decorate um, presents and Christmas tree and all sorts of things. So you just need um, some yarn, any old yarn will do. I like my cotton yarn, some scissors, a yarn needle and a crochet hook. Alright, so we start off by I like to use a magic circle in this case. So I do have a magic circle YouTube video, but I'll do it quickly here. Let's wrap my yarn around, pull it through around. It's hard through the camera, so I'll do that again. That's better. Okay, I have my ring now. I'm going to do 15 treble UK or double crochets if you use your US terms. I like to start with a false treble or false double because I don't like the chain three starting chain but you can do that if you wish. I think my pattern actually says chain three but I never actually do it. <laughs> so that's one. Oh goodness. Two. Fiddle fingers today. Three. Four. Five. You don't need to watch me make all fifteen. And 15. Okay, now here's where we pull a magic circle nice and tight. Now, instead of joining with a slip stitch to our first stitch, because we've only got two rounds on this star, and I like it to be nice and seamless as possible, I actually join with a double crochet UK terms or single crochet US terms. So I use my false stitch, I've got two loops to go under to start to finish off with, so there we go, I've finished with a double crochet. Now I need to chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to work a stitch into each of these chains, each one getting progressively bigger. So the first one we do is we skip that first chain and in the second one we do a DC UK SC US. Done. The next stitch we do a half treble UK, half double US. Done. The next stitch we do a treble UK or a double US. The next one we do a half double treble UK or a half triple US. I have videos on how to do each of these stitches if you want to check those out. Right, done. So now we skip two stitches, one, two, and we do a double crochet UK, single crochet US in the next stitch. And we do chain five again. One, two, three, four. Five. Now you don't want to do them tight because we're working into them and when I work into them I work under the bottom. I put my hip downwards through the bottom loop. So shorter stitch, slightly bigger stitch, slightly bigger stitch, And slightly bigger stitch. And we skip two, one, two, and a little stitch in there. And I've got three more rays to make. I'll meet you when it's time to come back and finish. Okay, so that's our five rays done. And now you can see why we joined with a double crochet instead of a slip stitch, because now we're up to skip two. And this time we are actually going to join with a slip stitch, but it's to that double crochet we joined with, or single crochet if you use. So join with a slip stitch. Okay, this is where 
I like to have a bit of fun. So, fairly long tail. Snip it off. Poke it through our end. Oops, get that centre one out of the way. Pull tight. I'll whip that magic circle end in shortly, but first, let's deal with this end at the end. So, thread your yarn needle. Now, we're on the back, obviously. And we're going to work up through the back of the stitches here. Right up through into the top of our point. Let's pull that up gently. And there you go. You've got a hanging star. Just like these. So all you need to do is weave in your centre for your magic circle and you're all done. So as you can see, they don't take long to do. And yeah, really cute little decoration for you to hang up or decorate with. See you later. Bye.